I'll open up to you guys a little bit more. I did have a bit of a strange upbringing. Um, so, so my dad is a registered psychotherapist, which is the best way that sentence can end. <laughs> when it starts with registered. <laughs> You guys feel that tension in the room? Right, <laughs> registered. Oh, man. Interesting growing up with like a dad as a, a therapist, man. I used to always get in trouble, and every time I'd get in trouble, my dad would sit me down, and he'd sit across from me. We'd have to have this long conversation about all the things I'd done wrong. And then the next week, I'd get an invoice in the mail. <laughs> Came right out of my allowance. I was like, how do I get ahead in this world? <laughs> like, you can write that off. I'm like, I'm seven. I don't <laughs> Now People do rag on therapists a lot, you know, for charging a lot of money. And I get it, it is expensive. As I get older though, I kind of start to see the value. You know, like hiring a therapist is kind of like hiring people to help you move. You can do it yourself, but you can only rely on your friends so many times. <laughs> before eventually they're like, again? <laughs> no, it's just like, like I've been lifting a lot of my stuff, you know, this past couple weeks and your stuff's like really heavy. And, um, and I'm like looking at some of this baggage and it looks like it's never been unpacked. <laughs> I was thinking maybe you could unpack it with like a professional or something. <laughs> It does get, it gets stranger though. So, uh, so my dad's a therapist. Um, my mom is a therapist. Yeah, my sister is also now a therapist. My brother is a... No, his name's Pancake Tuesday. Right. He's a registered sex offender. Right. Tough life for him, man. I can't wait for this joke to be posted. <laughs> I'm gonna get a call from my brother like, what have you been telling people? I'm an accountant. I've been in three meetings with HR this week about this. <laughs> He's gonna be rattled. <laughs> oh, it's fun, man. But yeah, I guess maybe it was helpful, you know, having, having parents as therapists, because my girl and I, we've been together for 11 years now, man. It's 11 years. Um, yeah, pretty cool. That's honestly, that's one of the hardest parts about doing this job is that, you know, I have to go on the road and then my heart tightens for her. <laughs> I always get to a point too, when I'm on these tours where I'm like, I have to like reach out to her. I'm like, oh, uh, could you start an OnlyFans account where I'm the only fan? <laughs> Still unsuccessful. That's, uh... If you want to donate to the OnlyFans account where I'm the only fan, you have the tip option just below. Eleven years, man, it's a long time. It's, uh, it's, it's a long time in the city. It's not so long when I go to the small towns. When I go to a small town, they're always like, nah, that's cute, bud. <laughs> 44 years, me and this one. There'll be some guy like way in the back. Oi, oi, slow down there. Yeah, 67 years. <laughs> Me and this one. I'm like, how is that even possible? <laughs> hey, I came out the womb and I was like, that one. <laughs> you gotta get it quick in a small town. Otherwise, you gotta move. <laughs> That's the truth, man. <laughs> when the city, I'll tell like a new friend of mine, he'll be like, oh man, 11 years, man. I almost made it six months one time. <laughs> nah, nah, we would have made it too, but one day a barista winked at me and I was like, I need to explore this. <laughs> There's a connection, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, 11 years, man, my experience has been just kind of like watching like my friends just kind of break up over time and I'm always like rooting for love. I'm like, no, love each other. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> They'll break up, I'm like, why, no. <laughs> and like, I'm not saying that there's no excuse to break up. There's for sure some good ones, but I hear this one way too often. I'll be like, yo man, what happened? He's like, yeah, I had to break up with her. I'm like, why? He'll be like, oh man, I just, I just need to be single right now, man. 
I just need to be single so I can work on me. Work on this guy. And I hear that and I'm like, cool, man, yeah, but I've been with my girl for 11 years. Like, most of what we do is work on me. I think that's like our favorite hobby. That's like... <laughs> The salt lamps on. Oh, we're not. We're not going to bed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not. I'm not complaining either, man. Like I was not a made man when I met her. Like I needed the help. You know, <laughs> eleven years ago when I met her, I was living in a dude house. That's one house. Me, other dudes. <laughs> we're not talking men. Men will fix things. We're talking dudes. <laughs> Living in a dude house is like, hey, bro, we haven't swept in 18 years. I wear sandals at all times, man. Yo, by the way, man, there's some food in the fridge uh, from their roommate who is before you. We're gonna leave it there. We're gonna see how long it takes before it lets itself out. That's a dude house, man. Now my place is nice. Like, we've got like multiple sets of bed sheets. You could take one set off and put a new set right on. Like, I thought if you had multiple sets of bed sheets, one of them had to be curtains. It's nice in there now, man. We've got like big towels and then smaller towels and then even littler towels. They all match. It's like a Russian doll set of towels. It's amazing. I had to learn that there's a whole towel hierarchy that did not come as base knowledge. I was trying to, I remember early on, I messed up. I was drying myself off after a shower and she came walking in the bathroom. She's like, what are you doing? You know, just drying myself off. She's like, mm-hmm. That's a bath mat. It's the same fabric as the towel. She's like, look at the size of it. I thought I got bigger. I don't know. She's like, no, it's like, come on. That's a towel for your feet. Like, there's a towel for your feet. There's a towel for your body. There's a towel for your hands. Like, and okay, I'm looking into the crowd right now and I can see a lot of the ladies' faces. Like, yeah, what don't you get here? When does the comedy start? But I can also see a lot of the dudes like, oh, maybe I should write some of this down. Oh, I thought this was a comedy show, not a seminar. Oh. Cause it's not simple. Like, there's different towels for different rooms in the house. One day I was in the kitchen, my hands were messed up, man. There was just like water all over them, like mixed with some barbecue sauce. I was like, all right, and I went and I got one of the fluffy hand towels from the bathroom. She clocked me from the top of the stairs. Absolutely not, no, mm -mm, no. What, this is a hand towel. You said hand towel for the hands. Hand, hand. I got it right. She's like, no, no, it's tea towels only in here. Well, what about the paper towel? She's like, that's not even a towel. I'm gonna fail this test. <laughs> I've been studying up, man, and I think I finally have it down, okay? At the very top of the towel hierarchy, you have the decorative towel. <laughs> These are very elusive. This is a towel that never gets used. Its entire purpose is to be a flex on your guests. <laughs> Did you see their towels? They're embroidered. I know. <laughs> so that's at the very top. And then underneath that, you have like the body towel. You got the hand towel. You got the... Towel. Okay, there's no, there's no face towel. That's a cloth. <laughs> it's okay. It's a common pitfall, okay? As a woman, I would have thought you'd know, but that's fine. <laughs>
underneath your base towels, then underneath that, you've got the beach towel. Now this is an outdoor towel. It doesn't go in the bathroom, no, no, because it doesn't match the aesthetic. Does it look like it's giving Tranquil Spa? Uh, it's giving more like hostile and Honduras vibes. Outside. And at the very bottom of the towel hierarchy, you have the rag. Now, I love rags, man. Rags are amazing, because anything can become a rag. Like a shirt can become a rag. Like pants can become a rag. A towel can become a rag. But no rag can become a towel. <laughs> Unless you find it in a dude house. <laughs> in which case, anything at all times is a towel. <laughs> oh, is that a blanket? Guess it's a towel today. I'm gonna be selling towels after the show. That's, uh, that's my merch. They're called man towels. It's a towel that you can do whatever the fuck you want with. That's what that is, man. It was cool, man. We also have like so many candles at my place. I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't know what it is about ladies, like why you guys love wax and wicks so much, man. But it's a lot, you know? When I had my place, I had one candle. I was like, I like this when she comes over because I am romantic. <laughs> now it's like 40 candles. They all have lids. To the point where it's the topic of conversation when people come over, like the girls will start opening the lids. Like, oh my God. Oh my God, I love this one. My fiance's like, yeah, that one was $9.99. <laughs> what? No way, what? And it was regular 60. <laughs> what? No way. What? All the girls. All the girls are like, what? All the guys are like, what? <laughs> Did she just say $60 for a candle? Oh, what's the wick made out of? A $50 bill? I know how she tricked me too. She tricked me because she kept buying manly sounding candles. That's how I kept being okay with them. She'll buy one, it'll be like called like tobacco and mist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one can stay. Yeah. I wanna smell like a homeless hipster. <laughs> like I'm walking through a meadow wearing a jacket that's not mine. <laughs> they are romantic though, I gotta give it to her. They've grown on me a lot. Like I like them now, man. <laughs> Like, you light up some candles at home, the mood is set, you know? It's a vibe shifter, you know? Like, if you light up some candles at home and you start fooling around, you can't just have sex. You can only make love. <laughs> That's rules, man. Some of you guys actually think you can have casual sex under candlelight flicker? You can try. You'll catch each other's eyes at one point. You'll be laying your moves like, is this the mother of my children right here? I see a vision in the candle. It's a house with kids running outside of it. She's looking back at you like, is this the man? I'm gonna mold into a better man? I thought I would have started higher. <laughs> Both of you start panicking. You're like, what are we doing? We're making love. This was supposed to be a casual thing, but the candle's going. What do we do? What you do is you, you stay grounded in the moment, okay? You take a deep breath, okay? Do not panic. What you do is you grab the candle and you pour it on the other person. <laughs> now you're back to fucking. <laughs> You guys were a little split on that as an audience. <laughs> I watched half of you be like, hey, 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 hey. And the other half was like, uh, um, 
who's fucking like that? <laughs> My whole life, never done that. <laughs> okay. I don't know, honey. We could try it out. Oh, we'll start slow. We'll get a tea light. How's that? 